Uh, good morning, friends. Uh, today we are uh, starting uh, a new course. Uh, this uh, another course, uh, sp uh, sprinkler and micro irrigation system. The sprinkler part we have covered through some other platform uh, in the previous months. Today we'll be dealing with micro irrigation system, especially drip irrigation system. You must be aware about drip irrigation system. It is a system of irrigation which has got very high efficiency and it is being promoted by government of India since the last 10 years very aggressively. And this drip irrigation system is not new to India. This technology was uh, adopted in wide scale in Israel. In fact, Israel is one country where if you talk about irrigation, then it means drip irrigation only because there is no other irrigation. That is a place which, which has got an annual rainfall, very less arid area and uh, the annual rainfall is around 400 or 500. Then they don't have any other option because they have to increase the efficiency with less water. They have to produce more. They have to increase the acreage. So the, naturally the rainfall that is falling is very less. With that rainfall they have to manage and uh, the only solution for that is micro irrigation system. So under micro irrigation system, drip also come, drip irrigation system also come. Your sprinkler irrigation also it comes, although the efficiency is little less than uh, drip irrigation system and also the uh, type of crop which is being irrigated by sprinkler is different. And uh, mini sprinkler is also used for closely grown uh, vegetable crops and uh, ornamental or your um, fodder crops. Now question comes why should we be adopting drip irrigation system or why, why micro irrigation? The um, actual reason behind that we'll be discussing towards the end of this uh, um, class uh, of this lecture. So uh, my micro irrigation as the, we have discussed all different types of irrigation system where water is applied uh, to, uh, in the root zone of the crop uh, in case of drip irrigation system and in case of sprinkler it is it is uh, sprayed in rainfall like pattern on the land surface at a rate which is which is less than the infiltration rate of the soil so in this uh, through this uh, technique we are able to save water of the tune of uh, more than 60 to 70 percent say uh, orchard crop mango. I was just uh, I just attended one webinar on uh, micro irrigation just a while ago, which was conducted uh, conducted by Punjab Agriculture University. Uh, someone, some speaker has given one uh, data that he's, he was drinking a cup of coffee. This, he was saying that the cup of coffee that I am drinking, that the person was drinking, the speaker was drinking, it 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 amounts to for this producing that that much cup of coffee. 135 liter of water is required for for getting one cup of tof, uh, coffee that is we call it the virtual water and there is an increasing trend in the more developed countries to to uh, import agricultural crops uh, produce which requires higher water crops which require higher water are rice you know sugar cane these countries will not will never will not uh, uh, grow these types of crop because it consumes more water In, instead what they do they import this type of crop and virtually we are exporting our precious water and this is we call it vir virtual water if you are uh, uh, supplying or exporting maybe some tons of rice then we are exporting around 400 times more than the um, uh, total weight of that produce say one one for producing one kg of rice the uh, water uh, we have to one have to invest 400 liters of water be it rain water or any other source 400 liter of water is required for producing one kg of rice so in this way we are exporting or this precious uh, water which is very less uh, which, is, which is a scarce quantity and in the coming days it would be much more scarer, scarcer. Uh, see the dependence, agriculture is the largest use of, uh, user of water 
टिल टिल सम टाइम मे बी अ डिकेट अगो एट्टी पर्सेंट ऑफ द लैंड एट्टी पर्सेंट ऑफ द वाटर दैट इज यूज इन द कंट्री इज यूज बाय एग्रीकल्चर अराउंड फिफ्टीन परसेंट बाय इंडस्ट्रीज एंड रेस्ट फॉर डोमेस्टिक एंड अदर पर्पसेज नाउ दिस देर इज अ डिक्रीजिंग ट्रेंड एंड ट्रेंड इट इज एस्टिमेटेड बाय टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टी द कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ वाटर द अमाउंट ऑफ वाटर दैट वुड बी यूज overall uh, would be 70% so the water will be even lesser and also the cropping uh, crop area is also narrowing it is also getting lesser so we have to you know uh, we have to produce or we have to irrigate with whatever water which is there with us even the ground water is depleting so these all things necessitates the use of efficient use of water and for efficient use of water the only solution is going for micro irrigation be it sprinklers be it drip irrigation or be it uh, mini sprinklers or any other method where the efficiency water use efficiency has to be increased so with drip system of irrigation we get an efficiency overall efficiency of around 85 to 90% and with sprinklers we get around 60 65% and if we use for surface method of irrigation its overall efficiency is only 30 35% that too if you um, use that surface method more efficiently now coming to uh, this specifically what is drip irrigation system drip irrigation system is a system of irrigation in which water is applied directly to the root zone uh, at a predetermined rate and at a predetermined time and at a predetermined growth stage and this is actuated or this is made possible through a network of different kinds sizes of pipe which is laid across the field and wherever there is plant wherever there is tree there, there would be laterals laid across and in laterals there would be emitters of different capacity and according to the plant growth according to the crop water requirement and according to, to the season the water is applied at a measured quantity to the right place so basically it is right amount of water at right time and at right place and if you do that the efficiency is bound to increase this is a, a model layout of a drip irrigation system i remember during march in one of the practical classes you had visited our uh, pfdc field in birsa agriculture university where we have taken you to the head control unit so it consists of a water source water source can be a pump a water source can be river it can be a well it can be uh, a pond or it can be a deep tube well or a boring bore well so from there water is lifted through a uh, submersible or a centrifugal pump monoblock or a uh, submersible pump uh, submersible in case of bore well monoblock in case of open well or river then uh, this water is lifted and since the water since the emitters through which water is applied at the root zone is very very narrow so water has to be uh, uh, pure i mean there should not be any solid impurity if there is any solid impurity what will happen is is it will the impurity or sand or anything will uh, get stuck in the minute holes of the emitters so what is required is filtration so we have, we do filtration at two levels one is through media filter and second is through screen filter so what are this this is called the head control unit of your drip irrigation system and this are the this is a gi pipe since it is the head control unit water would be pumped at a very high pressure so we have to sustain that level of pressure um a uh, robust pipe has to be installed so in place of pvc which is uh, inst uh, which is laid elsewhere here it should be necessarily uh, gi pipe so uh, it goes to the uh, main filter uh, th that is the media filter media filter we'll be discussing what is media filter in the coming uh, slides then it uh, after um, uh, coarser impur impurities are uh, screened the more clearer water will go to the screen filter 
screen filter is consists of a screen uh, screen metallic or otherwise it uh, clears more finer impurities like sand which come along with uh, water in case of uh, bore irrigation so it is that, that those sand and other minute particles get will get arrested in the screen filter and after once this filtration is uh, over the water will be is carried to the field through a network of pipe of different sizes main pipe and sub main pipe so if you have a large area say one acre or one hectare the entire area is in, divided into four or five plots sub plots from where the main water the uh, total water is flown uh, is carried through the main pipe and uh, water is taken to the individual plot through sub main pipes and there at sub main pipe at at a regular spacing according to the crop according to the type of crop that we grow the uh, uh, drills holes are inserted through some mechanism and lateral pipes are uh, taken out and this lateral pipes reaches to the crop where uh, up to the length uh, up to the length where the crop is grown and in this lateral pipe we have to is emitters or drippers are fixed either it is fa factory installed as in case of uh, uh, close growing crops like vegetables or in case of fruit crops we insert drippers of certain capacity uh, on at the root zone near the root zone or uh, root zone of the crop there could be one or two uh, uh, emitters depending upon the crop stage in which the crop is the tree is this especially in case of fruit tree where the water requirement is high one, one more information that i got today while attending that webinar was like for example we are talking about the water efficiency to understand it more in a very farmer friendly way say water requirement this is the mango crop so water requirement of mango crop for a particular season season for a particular agroclimate say it is 100 liters per day or per irrigation so in case of had we uh, gone for surface irrigation we had to apply for 100, uh, 100 liter water requirement we have to apply water three times more 300 more than 300 liter water has to be applied it's not that through drip irrigation water need of the crop is decreased no what is uh, we do is through drip irrigation we increase the efficiency water requirement is same whether through drip irrigation or through uh, um, uh, your surface irrigation but uh, here it is 100 liter through uh, surface irrigation you have to provide 300 liter so that 100 liter sto get stored in the root zone for sprinkler uh, irrigation we have to apply 165 or 170 liter of water since the uh, efficiency of sprinkler is less than drip irrigation and through drip irrigation you have to apply only 115 to 120 liters of water so there is a lot 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 saving of water through this method of irrigation and coming to this uh, model drip irrigation so um, um, since it is everything is based on pressure for drip irrigation system to run properly if the manufacturer is saying this dripper is produce discharging two liter per hour or four liter per hour that means it is discharging four liter per hour at a pressure of one kg per centimeter square to have a pressure of one kg per centimeter square at the extreme end of the dripper it should also take in account the undulation of the land to have one liter of uh, one kg per centimeter square pressure here you will you should be having a pressure here at least uh, at least two liter uh, two kg per centimeter square because through bends through uh, you have studied in fluid mechanics pipe flow there would be friction loss in pipes through bends and also whenever you whenever water is passed through these filters there would be pressure drop and also there is one uh, specialty about drip irrigation is we can also administer or apply along with water we can also apply fertilizers and chemicals if required so for that there is a system in place which we a very common method is through venturi assembly water is sucked in here also venturi, using venturi 
the pressure drop again reduces by 0.5 kg per centimeter square. So to have 1 kg here, the, the pressure which the, the power with which the uh, pump um, drives out water, the pressure should be at least 2 kg per centimeter square. And also we have studied in spr sprinkler irrigation, most of the 70% of the thing for drip irrigation as well as sprinkler irrigation is same. Uh, regarding pressure and everything for um, uh, only 20% of the pressure drop is allowable if there is 20% of pressure drop the discharge may vary 10% and sprinkler there is one 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 chapter where uh, we could not do it because of that requires some practical we have to uh, get into the field for measuring that that is the uh, calculation of uniformity of coefficient uniformity of coefficient means the water that is being applied everywhere be it sprinkler or be it drip how uniformly the water is applied say this is its design discharge is 4 liter per hour if it is here it is say 4.2 and this place it is 3.6 so there is difference in uniformity so this uniformity of 10 percent if there is a vari variation of 10 percent of discharge that is that is considered okay but if it is discharge variation is more than 10 percent then the system has to be corrected or there has to some uh, some work has to be done so that the pressure is increased or the uh, uniformity is increased so pressure drop of 20 percent and discharge variation of 10 percent is allowable in both in the case of sprinkler irrigation as well as drip irrigation system there are many other accessories like flush valve and also this uh, wherever the uh, lateral is laid at the end of the uh, lateral so that the pressure does not get released we have to choke it choking can be done by folding it then there would be water will be choked or through end uh, stoppers there is specially made small uh, small small uh, gadget which is not gadget a small uh, arrangement where the water uh, it allows to choke uh, choke the tail end there is two openings we if we uh, put it there then it will be choked so there are many other components mainly this head control unit where you have the pumping unit the uh, bypass assembly screen for both type of filters venturi's uh, fatigation unit and you have different set of pipe main line sub main line and your lateral line and on the lateral line there would be drippers or emitters and many accessories like and uh, uh, stoppers flush valve or uh, control walls these are there G gate wall this will be uh, come under accessories accessories rather now uh, a properly designed micro irrigation system will have the following advantage first since you have higher efficiency it saves water up to 50 to 60 percent and even more it's on the lower side it can even if properly designed system is in place the efficiency efficiency water saving could be even higher and this is achieved through through a proper design of the system and how how uh, the system is laid and how water is being uh, uh, conveyed to that uh, root zone how efficiently it is conveyed because in uh, normal method of irrigation surface irrigation or uh, uh, there is a lot of losses like conveyance loss irrigation engineering you are studying in a course you have, you might have read about studied about irrigation efficiencies there are many kind of efficiencies like transportation conveyance efficiency application efficiency field application efficiency water use efficiency so here the conveyance losses would be higher conveyance efficiency is higher because whatever is coming from your uh, water source it is directly go going to your sub means from there we are distributing so water efficiency or uh, conveyance efficiency is very high water use efficiency is also water application efficiency is also very high water application efficiency is a ratio between water which is stored in the root zone versus the water which is supplied to the root zone so in this case whatever water is supplied to the root zone everything is there in the root zone wet zone itself but in case of other system of irrigation the more water has to be supplied to the 
uh, supply it to the root zone to have that much depth of water in the root zone. Just, just example I have told about the mango tree where for 100 liter is the uh, volume of uh, depth of uh, volume of water which is required for a mango for a particular season or for a particular maturity stage for that for surface irrigation we have to apply more than 300 liter for uh, in case of drip uh, we have to apply 120 or one, 115 or 120 that uh, in this case the water use of water application efficiency would be uh, 100 by you know 120 so it would be very high but in case of spring uh, uh, surface irrigation method, method it would be the, the, in the case of the example that I have cited it would be 100 divided by 330 or 300 it would be 33 percent so there is a large difference between 30 being 33 percent and being 85 or 90 percent second is there are many studies even uh, during the uh, water research we have done in last 10-15 years under uh, two schemes government of india projects precision farming development center as well as plastic culture application in agriculture which is renamed as plastic engineering technology where we have studied the water requirement of different crops different vegetable crops and also we have studied how much water how much yield increase is there in case of drip irrigation system this farmer the for to popularize this drip irrigation system since drip irrigation system is cost in, in, uh, intensive initially at least so to convince the farmers or the end users you have to uh, produce the results how this uh, people who are having say a farmer in bihar flood prone, prone bihar they will say no we don't have water scarcity we want there is no use of uh, using drip irrigation system but holistically we have to see but uh, what our study says all over India is all over the world is through applying by adopting drip irrigation system you are also increasing the uh, increasing the yield by 50 to 100 percent now you may wonder how the yield is uh, increased because whatever water is required either through uh, you know drip irrigation or through surface irrigation we are supplying although in surface irrigation we are applying more water but the total water requirement is met met but what we are uh, we are saying is through drip irrigation system we are applying water right amount of water at the right time at the right place and in surface irrigation we don't have control be it a small seedling type of crop be it a matured crop we have to apply at least on a blanket recommendation three three uh, three centimeter of or five three to five centimeter of water but initially that much water is not required so what will happen is there would be stagnation of water if there is too moisture for a, over a long period of time the crop uh, soil health will affect there would be fungus growth as such there would be um, uh, you know many diseases it would be home to many diseases viruses as a result the yield get reduced and also the weed infestation would be very high in such type of uh, situation if through drip irrigation system since we are applying at the root zone only the root zone is getting wet the rest of the uh, spaces are dry so roots will not grow there root whatever roots would be there would be at the root zone and this, this uh, the, the root management could be very easily one or two percent because root uh, even weeding is a very labor intensive uh, operation especially in the Kharif season so a lot of uh, um, uh, through less uh, less number of labor man, man, man days uh, this weed, weed can be easily controlled that, that is also one of the reason of higher uh, yield through drip irrigation system and second you just apply one logic it's like saying uh, uh, feeding a, a kid or a child uh, regularly nutritious food uh, daily rather than giving it in, once in a week so naturally the one which is fed daily it would be it would be more healthier so same is the case in case of plant too because we are feeding with water as well as nutrient at a predetermined period according to the uh, crop condition according to the climatic requirement of the crop this also in increase improve the quality of the produce whatever we have studied or uh, or the general general convention goes is 
that uh, whenever uh, this drip irrigation is system is used along with mulching plastic mulching the quality of the produce is highly enhanced it is enhanced uh, the uh, what uh, the produce that we get from drip irrigated or mulch crop would be much superior to the quality which we receive from the general method conventional technique the reason is there would be more, more uh, spread of the uh, spread of the uh, foliar spread as such it will be uh, there would be more conducive atmosphere for the fruits or the uh, to grow the uh, effects like sunburn and other things would be less in case of mulching there are certain crops like strawberry say must melon it uh, its fruit is affected when it is comes in contact of the soil so there would be solarization or discolorization because of high heat such type of things does not happen in drip irrigation crops irrigated by drip and mulching so quality of the produce is also increased and the farmer who adopt, whoever, whoever adopts drip irrigation system will fetch higher return from the same produce than the one who does it through conventional method third is reduce uh, disease and pest we have discussed because more moisture for a uh, sustained period it will lead to it would be habit, uh, invite diseases it would invite viruses so wilting and many other it would be cause for many other uh, diseases and also f pests are attracted more where there is uh, uh, ponding of water which is through uh, when we apply through general method of irrigation third is uh, power reduction since uh, for um, applying through water through drip irrigation system the power uh, power requirement is also reduced because the whenever the irrigation is done the, it is uh, irrigation is done more frequently but for a lesser amount of time initially maybe at the seedling stage uh, only 10 to 20 minutes of water application is sufficient and maybe it, it goes up to 30 minutes 45 minutes maybe up to one hour but in surface method of irrigation although the frequency is less but at one irrigation more time is required so um, a whole day there would be for for irrigating one hectare of land whole day would be required it would be even less the whole day would be even less for irrigating so, but in drip irrigation system the system has to be uh, operated for half to one hour per irrigation but the frequency is higher overall the power requirement in drip irrigation system is less than your surface method of irrigation so if power requirement is less the power uh, amount spent on power is also less be it diesel be it uh, through electrical motor the consumption of diesel as well as uh, this uh, electricity is less in the, in case of drip irrigation system and also it is much convenient for irrigating a land so farmer has to what they have to they have to do some preparation they have to make channels they have to cut channels then uh, allow water to enter in then they have to close the checks then again open the other checks it's a very two days two to three days uh, two to three days is required uh, for irrigating one hectare of land and two at least two people would be required two to three people would be required and amount of water that would be required would be much very high but in case of drip irrigation what you have uh, only the initial hiccup is there once it is installed properly in a properly designed way so what farmer has to do is what the cultivator has to do is they have to just put or put on switch on the system and they have to see the control walls which which uh, plot they have to irrigate just they have to monitor even a child can do it and there is no 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 you know uh, no hindrance there is no limitation of using it in the daytime only you can also use it in night like you have to switch on the system for some time and after uh, some time a kid can switch off the system so it is very user friendly as well once it is installed now coming to the main components of drip irrigation system uh, we have already discussed the head control unit where uh, we have talked about the fertilizer fertigation unit filtration unit beside that there would be a net network of pipe 
first is the main pipe main pipe is mainly made of hdp for <coughs> making more cost uh, cost eff uh, effective pvc or polyvinyl chloride is used high density polyethylene is little costlier so we are uh, we do not recommend it for drip irrigation system since the pressure requirement here is not very high for sprinkler hdp pipes are okay for drip we recommend pvc pipes and its size depending upon the area to be irrigated may vary from 50 to 130 mm dia and the pressure rating we have already discussed in one of the practicals i think uh, pressure especially in the main pipe should be high because it will be carrying the entire load of water so higher rating pipe class 3 pipe could, should be required which will be having a pressure of 6 kg per centimeter square and coming to the main 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 lines main lines divides the plots and, and carries the water conveys the water to the main from main to the sub plots so main main line uh, diameter should be uh, is, uh, is supposed to be one size lower than the main pipes sub mains uh, dia the size of the sub main uh, sub main it's again uh, pvc we prefer pre polyvinyl chloride and its size comes between uh, the uh, size that we use is one size lower than lesser than the uh, main pipes main pipe if it is 75 uh, mm main pipe then we go for 63 for sub uh, sub plots because plots they are the total water uh, would be, that would be carried to the plots would be divided so one size uh, it would be one size less so it comes from uh, 32 to 75 same same quality uh, quantity but here the pressure range we can go for 6 kg per centimeter square class 2 type of pipe, pipe can be used difference between this 6 kg and 4 kg or 2 kg is lies in the di its thickness 6, 6 kg would be more robust its thickness would be higher it would around 2.1 mm in case of uh, 6 4 kg per centimeter square pressure it is 1.7 i think and for laterals it is made of either ldp uh, low density polyethylene polyethylene or linear low density polyethylene uh, it comes in sizes the most common size is 12 mm and 16 mm 10, 10 mm is wrongly written here uh, it uh, we take class 1 type of pipe which has got because here the pressure uh, uh, pressure that it would be dealing with is less because it is going to the individual uh, you know beds so uh, very high pressure is not required only 2.5 kg per centimeter square pressure it has to deal with 1 to 1.5 kg per centimeter square pressure so higher the pressure rating more will be the cost and since the, one of the major hindrance for drip irrigation system is its initial cost so we whenever we design drip irrigation system this this cost should be taken into account wherever possible we have to reduce the cost of drip irrigation system although there are many government schemes which uh, gives subsidy for drip irrigation system over the last 10 years there are many uh, government schemes there is well, there was one national mission on micro irrigation which uh, the, through cent, uh, there was subsidy of 50% through center and 40% through respective states. States were given the freedom to uh, allow the percentage of drip uh, percentage of subsidy. So overall, 70-75% subsidy is there. Even that name NMMI is, has been changed to Pradhan Mantri Krishi Krishi Sichai Yojana PMY. Uh, uh, Krishi Sichai Yojana where the same subsidy is still intact. So after uh, uh, this impetus from the government because it has come uh, in the view wake of the water scarcity over the last 10-15 years when the government has been alarmed. This drip irrigation was there in India even in the 80s, early 80s it started but the area coverage was very less but over the last 10 years the area has been increased many fold. Here we see these are the uh, pipe of different diameters and different sizes and this is the submain and at submain there here submain we lay the laterals these are the laterals and these laterals comes in bundle there are a bundle of four so one bundle will be of 
400 meter length so whenever uh, so the design parameter when we deal with the design we have to select uh, we have to select which type of lateral should it be 12 mm or should it be 16 mm so depending upon the plot size we have to design 16 from 16 to uh, for 12 to 16 mm then uh, uh, the cost would be uh, cost differential will be very high because lateral is something which is used which is uh, um, uh, large quantity of lateral is required because you have to lay the field all along the bed and this is one item way where large quantity of lateral is required and even a variation of one or two rupees per running meter will amount to thousands of rupees and this lateral along with the dripper which is placed on it or either inside it factory fitted this accounts for more than 65 to 70 percent of the total cost of the drip irrigation system so whenever we have to choose the laterals or even the drippers one has to be very 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 clear about it which what actually is the requirement which is, the design should not be over designed and it should not also be under designed if it is over designed the cost would be very high and if it is under designed then the your water use efficiency or your this distribution would not be proper these are the emitters or drippers that we are talking about so these are uh, the entities which allows water to flowing water to drip from say so water is flowing inside this pop, uh, pipe right in a, uh, at a certain velocity but if there is just a single opening there water will be flushed out as a jet so for the, to avoid that but in drip irrigation system what we want we want desired quantity of water at a desired rate if the manufacturer is claiming it is 2 liter per hour so that flow the speed of the flow has to be reduced this is necessitated by a labyrinth of a, a small disc hard disc where water is made to flow from a, in a zigzag path so that the pressure or the energy is dissipated and water drips or uh, comes out from this opening as drops so this is the basic of this emitter and emitter is something which is required in a very large num numbers um, depending upon how many crops are there depending upon the number of crops there will be number of drippers so it is required in very huge quantity uh, so is the lateral so uh, even the drippers are two types one is on line and second is in line online drippers are one which is placed on the laterals it is inserted in there is a uh, pointed uh, uh, this thing and we have to insert it by pressure then um, we can insert it and second is inline inline drippers are the one which are used for close growing crops because it's for close growing crops like vegetables it's not possible to insert drippers at every crop so it is we for one acre one hectare we have say it's cauliflower we, or tomato we would be having 50,000 crops it's humanly not possible to insert it everywhere so these drippers in inland drippers which is used for vegetable crops these drippers are placed factory fitted at the certain at the required spacing so you can uh, demand from the uh, system supplier that we have want uh, lateral lines this much bundle of lateral lines of 30 centimeter spacing that means emitters would be spaced at 30 centimeter according to the crop that you grow uh, if it is 40 centimeter you can get laterals of 40 centimeter emitters and this type of emitters are either cylindrical shape or a flat strip again there is a zigzag flow uh, path or a labyrinth through which water will flow and this flowing water will be converted into uh, dripping water by dissipating the energy then again the laterals this uh, drippers or emitters are uh, classified into two types pressure compensating and non pressure compensating and this is one place where uh, the system supplier make most most of the money because th this difference between pressure compensating and non pressure compensating is three times this is one is a pressure comp uh, non pressure npc not non pressure compensating dripper the um, uh, what is this pressure compensating and non pressure compensating the difference is that in pressure compensating drippers there is in place of this hard disk there is a silicone disk it will absorb the pressure 
like if you don't have a uniform smooth leveled surface you have a more or less you know slope uh, um, slope topography so what will happen is if you have slow down, downward slope what will happen is at the head end the discharge would be less and due to the gravity at the tail end the discharge would be much higher so uh, the distribution of water at head end as well as a tail end would be different so to compensate that this pressure compensating uh, this uh, you know drippers what it does is it takes the shock it takes it does not allow more water to emit from the drip irrigation uh, from your system at the tail end at the lower at the place where the elevation is lower so it will more or less will give uniform amount of water uh, regardless of the you know the field condition so uh, one should only buy pressure compensating drippers when if your field is not uniform uh, if uh, if it is not leveled so one has to be very sure because if it is for uh, comes for 2 rupees the uh, npc will come at 8 rupees so there is eight time uh, four times uh, it costs more and when we require this in thousands maybe 20000 30000 it will amount to a large quant a large amount so one has to be very careful about that now coming to filters there are four types of filters one is primary filter and second is your secondary filter primary filter uh, 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 the med or we call it the media filter it it is the sand filter where the coarse impurities are uh, are are arrested this is the one uh, primary filter we also call it sand filter uh, there is a special grade of sand or silica sand which is filled up to this place and when water enters from one end it um, filters uh, and the filtrates will pass through the uh, lower opening so the um, coarser impurities will be arrested here and for finer impurities we have secondary filter secondary filter in secondary filter we have screen filter this is one which we see in uh, the ro or the you know not ro the uh, uh, filters that we use at home screens are used for finer impurities uh, screens of certain grade certain opening uh, grade is there and this uh, screen will 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 take the finer impurities and there is also something called disc filter so if you have seen uh, the cd disc which used to come now it is obsolete uh, we used to stack it one by one so here the, there would be many discs which is which are stacked together and this acts as a filtering media and where wherever the in the place where um, uh, cost is a constraint and there are coarser as well as finer impurities this uh, disc filter uh, can work both as primary as well as secondary filter if bore well is the source of irrigation then this media filter is not required because it is very high uh, high in cost and also there is no subsidy in it and there is uh, some uh, one special kind of filter which is called hydrocyclone filter this is generally used where the river water source is river water because at river water there is large coarser sands which is difficult to be um, uh, filtrated through other means here what we here the centrifugal force is used water is uh, entered through here and it will spiral down and the um, coarser impurities of the sands which come along the river water is uh, separated from the uh, water and the sand can be removed from here we will be having a uh, separate class on this filters as well as fertigation units third is the fertigation unit so the full benefit of drip irrigation system cannot be realized un unless we don't use the fertil uh, fertilizer along with the drip irrigation system for fertigation there are three um, uh, two mainly two mainly uh, main uh, instruments one is the fertilizer tank where we directly put the soluble uh, fertilizers for fertigation always we have to use the water soluble or liquid fertilizers any fertilizer or chemical which is not soluble in water or which has got iron in it like in case of potash kcl it has this uh, mining pro mine product it has got iron for uh, that cannot be used because if uh, 
iron is there it will rush the emitters the openings so for that we use kcl white which is a uh, which is a marine product so so that the solubility is full and it can be used as a fertilizer anything which is not soluble in ca case of diammonium phosphate there is ash content in it so that cannot be used as uh, fertilizer for under drip irrigation system urea can be very very effectively used kcl white can be used there are many other grades of fertilizers when we come to fertilizer chapter uh, fertigation chapter in some other day we'll discuss about that from one from inlet water comes here and water is uh, um, fertilizer is mixed here this acts as a mixing chamber and the mixed fertilizer is uh, goes through the system through this port second is this is an in field condition this fertigation unit second is a very um, uh, cheap uh, alternative which is call it venturi we, we use the principle of venturi meter for 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 uh, applying fertilizer water soluble fertil fertilizers like urea are made uh, are mixed in a container and uh, there are two ports by adjusting the gate valve uh, pressure differential is cre created between in the inlet and the outlet when there is pressure dif differential it will the fertilizers can be sucked with this and the uh, system will go and, and the uh, mixed fertilizer will go to the system this is how it works fertilizer is mixed here and due to the pressure dif uh, differentials it is lifted it's sucked and this fertilizers go to the system and ultimately to your crop these are some of the fittings small fittings which are required like t's end cap this is the one which we were talk we were talking about previously like to chalk the lateral at the end we use this one uh, this type of arrangement say we have to take out from one lateral two laterals we have to take out then we use t connector four laterals we have to take then we use this cross connectors elbows are required grommets and as also required wherever we have to drill hole in the submin to take out the laterals these are some of the fittings and pumping unit that is required for uh, this could be either uh, electrical op operated which is low in maintenance uh, diesel uh, operate wherever the electricity is a constraint electricity has no, not reached to the place there we have to go for portable diesel engine where we can use diesel engine as a uh, pumping unit although the operating cost is very high and wherever there is good uh, daylight hours sun, sunlight areas we can use photovoltaic pump but although its initial cost is very high and also there is there should be a ba battery backup for it this is one uh, the slide which i was trying to discuss initial the uh, i uh, the second slide there was something like phrase why micro irrigation this is the reason for micro irrigation this slide i have just taken while i was coming to uh, for this recording there was one webinar which was going on uh, organized by punjab agriculture university one of the expert gave this slide and i found it very interesting so this this is the irrigation efficiency of surface sprinkler as well as drip the conveyance efficiency that is uh, the, from source where the water is lifted to the place where we, which has to be delivered for surface it is around 50 to 60 40 to 60 percent for sprinkler it is 100 percent drip it is 100 percent application efficiency that is the volume of water in the applied to the root zone and the volume which is stored in the depth which is stored in the root zone for surface it is can be increased by more uh, improved uh, uh, surface irrigation technique like furrow irrigation it can be 60 to 70 percent sprinkler irrigation 70 to 80 and drip it is 90 surface moisture evaporation surface irrigation it is 30 to 40 percent because water is uh, on the surface at, at certain depth it, is, it attracts more evaporation sprinkler also we don't irrigate the crop we irrigate the land although at a uh, lower rate but um, evaporation takes place at the same place same same level as surface irrigation but in drip irrigation since less amount surface area of water front or the moisture front is less because only at the root zone we are applying water small circle is formed from the small circle the evaporation there is less then coming to the overall efficiency Combining all this, surface irrigation is 30 to 35, 
sprinkler is 50 to 60 percent and drip is 80 to 90 percent that's why there is a lot of focus on micro irrigation of late by even by government and even people are getting very aware countries like israel there is 100 percent drip irrigation when there is no question of surface or, or any other method of irrigation irrigation if you have to grow crop you have to uh, install drip irrigation system so that's all from my side so we will be discussing uh, further in the next classes about the different fertigation uh, fertigation and filtration units thank you for thank you thank you very much